your life. Hi everyone, uh, happy Saturday. It's, um, I'm feeling a bit better today. I'm still in a little bit of pain, but much more manageable and um, not sneezing, not sneezing. Not sure what that uh, little reaction was about, but um, it was, uh, yeah, it wasn't pleasant yesterday. So sorry for being all uh, snuffly and grumpy yesterday, but really wasn't feeling myself. But I feel better today. Um, we've been doing a fabulous um, Bargello Zoom class this morning. The girls are doing really, really well. Really, really enjoying doing it actually with them. They're all, all uh, they're all spot on. They're brilliant. <laughs> um, and now we're doing this. And then once I finish this, we're going to go back on and do the Zoom again. So and finish off the Bargellos. So I'll sh post some pictures later so you can see what they're all doing. They look really good. The, some of the colours are yummy 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 so um so yeah enjoying doing that so we've got a bit of news who's coming online who's there groups just before i do all we the news got lisa we've got marilyn we've got tina hi everyone uh sheila Ma uh, maria lovely lovely hi everybody um so we're gonna make some tablet stands today um but before i do that i'm just gonna go through a few bits there is our um the raffle went live a little while ago um, this will be our last one of lockdown and we might we might still do some once the shops open but this is our last lockdown raffle so um there's lots and lots of goodies there the list is on the website of all the goodies but it's actually worth about 250 pound this time we've upped it because it's our last one last lockdown raffle um we've also added in um the excuse me i'm gonna sneeze and again no yeah it's always two, isn't it? <laughs> um, sorry, I'm still a bit sneezy. I'm not as bad as I was yesterday. I'm still a bit sneezy. Um, there's, um, we've added in um, to the prize. Um, we will um, do put a quilt of your choice on Daphne and quilt it free of charge for you. Okay, so that's part of the prize. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter what size quilt. Um, so that's added quite a bit to the the prize barrel okay so um so yeah there's that there's loads of other bits in there the usual sort of fabric and wadding and threads um and and all sorts of different bits and pieces lovely nice little bits but i've um we've re we've added in a bit of a a bonus since it's our last one that we will we will quilt a quilt on daphne free of charge for you okay um so that's live and it's selling quite well i think i think there was 11 gone in the first like half an hour so it is selling well so if you want to have a go it's still five pound exactly the same as the others um but do go on and have a look it's sitcoms this time you uh tv sitcoms so you just choose the sitcom just like we did last time um what other news have i got so sean put out what we're going to be doing next week um so on monday i'm going to be doing um a some blocks with a layer using layer cake so we've called it layer cake loveliness so some different bits that you can do with a layer cake and the reason i've done that in fact you really might want to tune in on monday is that um we've got a bit of an exclusive we've um been given some some stuff i'm just not going to tell you what because you have to tune in on monday but we've been given some um given given something by a company which before anybody else in the country in fact before anybody else in the world even before the america had it so um we've got some exclusive bits to show you on monday so um i thought you might want to tune in on monday so i'm giving you a little little heads up to make sure you're with us on monday <laughs> Uh, Tuesday I'm going to do some crochet and we're going to I'm going to show you how to make this has come from Meg actually Sarah's daughter she's made some um, reusable water balloons crocheted reusable water balloons because obviously normal water balloons um, it's all plastic and it just ends up you know in the environment and landfill and all the rest of it so these are reusable ones and apparently they're brilliant fun I'm going to get my boys if the weather's nice tomorrow or Monday I'm going to get the boys to have a water water balloon fight um, out the front or in the garden and film them so you can see them in action <laughs> i'm sure i can get some volunteers for that eh, groups yeah yeah i thought so <laughs> uh wednesday we've got our block of the week uh thursday sarah's going to make some bowl hoses for you um she made some for sean back for christmas presents last year or the year before and sean uses them all the time they're a really fab little product so she's going to do that on thursday friday um we've got a big special going on all our june taylor they're all up for what 24 hours only on our website all the june taylor products will um be on a reduced special offer and um i'm going to take you through some of the different products on friday 
And then on Saturday, which is my other bit of news, on Saturday, we're going to do a, a live question and answer session. So what we'd like you to do between now and Saturday is send us in your questions. Send us, you know, me and Sarah, what, what do you, if you say something you've struggled with that you'd like me to go through? Is there something that you've always wanted to, you've never quite understood about your machines or about quilting or sewing or soft toy making, whatever it is, send us in your questions, email them to us, either at shop at whitegeckoevents.co.uk or you can Facebook message them us. And what we'll do is we'll print those out and we will try and go through as many of those, you know, troubleshooting or it doesn't even have to be a problem. It could just be something like, oh, you know, how do I use I know, a certain angle on a ruler or how do I change my rotary blade? You know, some people struggle with that, whatever. Or it could be, I've always really struggled with finishing binding, you know, send us in your questions. It could be, you know, I know, Oh, I can't think of anything. It can, you know, it can be anything, something about the shop or anything at all. Anything at all, okay? Send us in your questions um, and we will try and answer as many. We will try and problem solve or answer as many of your questions as we can. Um, so that's next week. So I've told you about the exclusive, told you about the raffle, told you about the questions and answers. That's everything, I think. So who's there? Who's there and who's coming um, online? we got Jenny, we've got Sally, we've got Grace. Linda, hi everyone barbara and nikki oh lots and lots of you hi Great hi hi people. hi so uh, i think you've only got one day left as well thinking about it i think it finishes tonight to use your newsletter code your newsletter offer okay so if there is anything you want it's definitely worth getting that in before the code goes tonight okay so um right i'm just gonna sip my coffee again sorry I've been talking a lot today. I know I'm a chatterbox and I know I never shut up, but I've been talking a lot already today. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some of these. These are super, super easy, super quick to use. I made this one for Drew probably about four years ago, I think. You, but he uses it a lot. You can use it for your tablets. Now, his is a particularly big tablet, but you can see that supports it really well. So if you're watching YouTube for a tutorial or something, or you're watching Netflix or whatever, but you can also, you will just be able to fit your phone in there as well, okay? It'll go with any size, all right? Small or large. And you can make them, depending on what size you make them, you can make them any size at all. You can make little tiny diddy ones just for your phone. Um, I think they're quite handy in the kitchen. If you're following a recipe or something and you've got the recipe on your phone or your tablet rather than in a book, you can prop that up in the kitchen. Um, my boys all use them, you know, for their tablets and their phones in their bedrooms. Um, all sorts of uses okay nice little present as well for like grandkids and stuff you know if you don't if you want to sew for your grandkids and you don't necessarily particularly teenagers don't necessarily know what to make them these are really nice little present and they only use one fat quarter okay Charles heard the um the code finish last night oh last night. sorry lovely it was last night sorry guys wrong information sorry <laughs> well if you didn't use it tough it's gone now <laughs> so um, I'm going to take you through making one of these little tablet stands. <laughs> Drew and I had um, quite a lot of fun earlier trying to fill one with uh, bean bag filling. So this, these I've filled with bean bag beans. Okay, I think we've got three bags of it left in the shop, which I will put on the website once I finish the Zoom. Let me just grab them for you a second. That was a, a whole bag, and I filled one pat a tablet stand out of it. You would probably get six tablet stands out of a bag i think it's about six seven pound for a bag of the beans but i'll get them onto the website later on this afternoon early evening okay you don't have to fill them with beans you could make um you could fill them with fluff you know toy stuff in but you would need to put like a rice bag or a sand bag in the bottom because they need to be you know a little bit heavy just to i mean this isn't heavy but because of of how it works it does sit well if you did just fluff it wouldn't it wouldn't sit flat so if you're going to use just toy stuff in or fluff stuff in you need to put a, just a small bag rice bag or sand bag in the bottom okay just to hold them up oh. right let me just move drew's tablet out of the way so i don't knock it on the floor <laughs> okay i'm using um this is um one of the new modas this is on the website um it's a beautiful beautiful range i thought i'd cut one out of this um 
it's Regency Romance, this one, and it's a really lovely range, and it's got all these beautiful teals and duck eggs in it, as well as these lovely dusky pinks. Um, it, the whole range that we've got is, is on the website, but I thought I'd, I'd do this. Again, as well, sorry, I'm talking a lot. I know I am uh, talking a lot. Um, the pattern for this, I'll pop on the website as well, so you've got all the measurements. You want a piece of fabric which is 18 and a half inches by 16 like I said, if it's not quite that size, um, you'll easily get that out of a fat quarter. But if it's not quite that size, it doesn't matter. It really won't make any difference to the, the tablet stand. Um, I'm just going to move this out of the way, actually, because I'm not going to be able to cut with that there. And I don't want to knock it on the floor. So if you have a directional fabric, now this isn't directional. Not, well, I suppose it is, actually, because of the flowers. Yeah, kind of directional. Your longer side, so my 18 and a half, wants to go on the top of the fabric, okay? So if you imagine this was directional, all those flowers were definitely this way. My top, I've done it towards you, would be the 18 and a half, and along the side is the 16. So I'm just gonna grab my big, big ruler, because it makes it really, really quick and easy. Just turn this round so I've got it the right way. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half like that so that's top to bottom okay Jane says inches or centimeters uh, inches love or yeah it's all in inches um, okay and then I'm gonna cut a strip off that is 18 and a half so lining up my horizontal line there along the fold and just cut off this little excess piece here okay like that I then want a piece that's, I want it, so it's 18 and a half inches that way, and I want it to be 16 this way. So I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, like that. Okay, so that's my 18 and a half. I now need to cut down 16, make it small enough. So I'm going to fold it in half, just line up those edges like that. But you can play with the sizes. This is just the size that I've done it as. But, you know, if you've got slightly less fabric, it really doesn't matter. OK, and then I'm going to cut off that piece there like that. OK, so I now have a piece that is 18 and a half by 16. I'm just going to put my big ruler out of the way. <laughs> you really don't want to see my floor. There's little white polystyrene beads all over the place. It's crazy. <laughs> so. I'm going to take this over to the ironing board, uh, the sewing machine. Sorry, just before I do, <laughs> you want to fold it in half, right sides together. So you're going to fold the 16 inch length over to the 16 inch length, like that. Okay. Like that. And we're going to stitch across the top and down the long side. You're not going to stitch this bit here. Okay. So we're just going to do that to that to start with. We get those beans out of the way so I don't <laughs> I don't get them everywhere. So quarter inch seam allowance. It could be edge of foot. Again, you don't need to worry too much about the dimensions with this. Drew's just moving stuff out of the way. <laughs> okay, so just gonna take a couple little stitches and then back stitch, just because you want everything nice and secure. Along that top, like that. These are a really fast little make as well, okay? So I'm going to come to the end and pivot round and down that side. Make sure those edges are together. All the way down that side. So how are you all? How is everybody? Who's there? Anybody here? Uh... Uh, Christine said, I used buckwheat scented with sandwood. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, yeah, besides that, smell lovely. Ow. How's everybody else? Anybody else there? there? Uh, Try and put the raffle on link up for the Oh, Ah, cool. Yeah, they're going fast, girls. So, um, so grab them while you can if you want to have a go. Then all I want to do is just clip those corners obviously be careful of my stitching but I'm just clipping those corners okay there and that one there okay and then we want to turn it all right sides out through the open bed so at the minute 
a really really simple tube okay like that just turn those edges out like that and I'm just going to give it a very let me get that out of the way give it a very quick press and my coffee out of the way I, oh, I'm not very organized today it's because I was all set up for the zoom and then it's suddenly like ah <laughs> let's get ready for one o'clock okay right let's just roll that seam out between my fingers like that and just give it a quick press oh, I really like this fabric it's so pretty and when you put it with the duck eggs that are, are in the same range it's gorgeous really really elegant okay like that like that Ooh, see I didn't roll that bit get that bit out here we go okay so just press that seam in place in fact let's give it a quick zap down there okay right we're going to come over to the flat board just to confuse drew a bit and i want to put the seam that i've just sewn right down hang on i'm going to try and do this towards you okay so i'm going to move the seam to the center okay like that and put that flat on the board okay i'm trying to get make sure that's right in the middle like that okay and then smush this out like that and can you see that you end up with this triangle like that at the top okay because you've moved that seam to the center like this here when you lie it all out flat it naturally creates this base okay now you will be able to feel I'd hopefully you can, you're getting this on the camera you will be able to feel this here this is where it's folded over and this is just double okay so that line there you'll, you can kind of feel where the ridge of fabric is make sure as near as damn it that this is lying really nice and straight okay if it's not lying straight you end up with a bit of you know this this will go over to one side and you end up with unequal sides so just take the time to make sure it's really nice and straight down that seam helps when it all lie flat you then want to take this top edge here and fold it up like that so it's just hitting that little ridge that you can feel okay which is where all the fabric is folded over so you want to take it up so it's just hitting the ridge okay I'm just gonna grab a pin like that okay you're all with me so far and then I'm gonna slide my hand inside like that I'm going to clamp on the top of that point there, take that pin out to make sure that I'm not catching the back fabric. And I'm just going to pin that point into just the top. So can you see the back is still loose? It's just attached to the top. OK, we're now going to stitch down this. We're just going to do a couple of little stitches, like fastening stitches to hold that. Doesn't matter quite how you know, many stitches to do because we can cover it with a button later or you could do like a yo-yo flower or something but you're going to cover it a bit later okay but we just want to secure this flap up to there all right so back to the sewing machine you could hand stitch that if you want to i'm going to do it on the machine for quickness so i'm going to slide that off uh tina sarah do uh, did i sorry did you check with sarah uh, for me about the cut and press boards in the shop. Oh, I did ask her to send you some pictures, love. She, I know she's been crazy, crazy busy. Um, but, um, Sarah, if you're watching, or Sean, can you WhatsApp Sarah and ask her to send Tina the cut and press board pictures, please? And then, Jenny, yes, I forgot to ask you about how to uh, roll a seam yesterday, lol. Um, I'll send that in a uh, in for the q and a shall oh, right. I? okay yeah absolutely yeah send in some questions guys if you've got any so i've just put this over and maneuvered it so that the point is just under my needle and all i'm going to do is just take a couple of little stitches and like i said i'm going to do a, i'm going to put a nice button nice pretty wooden button or something on this so it doesn't really matter if the cotton's not matching okay so I'm just going to go, I've just gone forward a couple of stitches and backwards a couple of stitches. Okay, there you go. Just to secure that up. All right, like, and then I can take that pin out. So now, 
you'll end up with something that looks a little bit like that okay you can obviously I'll sew my ends in all in and I'll pop, pop a little button or something on here to make that look pretty okay so you've kind of got something that looks a little bit like that okay right let's put this back on squidge over <laughs> okay next thing you want to do is re-straighten this back out so it's nice and flat so I'm going to wiggle it again get that right in the middle like that okay so I've got a nice flat end here and then we want to mark on here a couple of lines so we're going to mark one line at three and a half inches okay like that so I'm just using a chalk pen but you could use whatever I'm using this just because it's white against this and I knew it'd show up well so I've drawn one line at three and a half and then I want to draw another line from this bottom edge at four and a half so you'll end up with two lines half an inch apart okay we've got these Roxanne pens back in stock at the moment as well actually there's not many left because they've gone quite quickly but these were the the Roxanne chalk pens that I love for just about everything okay we've also got Frickson pens back in stock as well they're on the website now too so you can see here we've got two lines we're just going to deal with this line here to start with okay I've got drawn this one because it's easy to draw before you fill this but we're just concentrating on the four inch line now we're going to stitch top stitch all the way down this and you want to leave about what's that about an inch 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 and a quarter gap at the end make sure you back stitch here so we're going to start here go all the way down and leave a gap that's the gap we're going to fill with okay so I'm going to pop a pin there to remind me to stop you're going to ignore this line at the moment we'll use that in a moment okay so back to the sewing machine and down I go so needle in oh. See, I'm still not used to the me up in the up and downy with my machine. <laughs> right, well I'm sewing this. Anybody there? Who's uh who's chattering? Anybody? Uh Charlotte Hurt, oh, sorry, I accidentally pressed the angry face. Uh oh, for six, you. <laughs> uh fix sound, my mum's iPad, and I'm happy you're feeling better. Oh, thank you, lovely. Oh, it happens quite a lot. We get some angry faces and we think, oh no, if we upset somebody, we upset somebody, and you get a message going, I pressed the wrong one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't be offended. But thank you, I am feeling a little bit better today. Still a little bit sneezy, but not too bad. I don't feel rough with it like I did yesterday. Uh, I am pretty much allergic to everything though, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. So I've come all the way down, apart from the last inch and a quarter-ish, and then I'm gonna back stitch. Okay. As uh, Heron asks, were the lines 3.5 or four inches? The first one was three and a half from this edge here. So I've gone three and a half there. And then my second line is four inches. So you want two lines, one at three and a half from this edge and one at four inches from this edge. So you've got two parallel lines, okay? Right, I'm gonna do a bit of a blue pizza because there's one I prepared earlier, okay? Now I've stitched that line there. You will then fill, so it leaves, can you see it leaves a little gap in there, okay? You can pop a little little funnel or make a cone out of paper and fill this up with your bean bags okay that takes a little bit of time and it's also helpful if you've got another person with you because one of you can hold it and the other one person can pour obviously i've done a blue peter here's one i prepared earlier so um we haven't got this fabric i'm afraid this is a fabric that tom chose because tom needed a new tablet stand for his well, for his phone and stuff so he chose this fabric out of my stash it's years and years old I'm afraid so all I've done is I've filled it with the beans through that little gap now don't overfill it can you see that I've still got quite a bit of a bit of give in this okay if you overfill it the tablet will just stand really high or your phone will stand high you want it want it to you know when it when you've got enough beans in it that when the tablet's against it it'll lie back a little bit okay so I filled it up and then once I'd filled it, hence why we got bean bag beans all over the floor at lunchtime, <laughs> is I just quickly pinned it, that last inch and a half, pinned it like that, okay, to stop the beans coming out, popped it back into the machine and closed up, ow, closed up that gap, all right? 
once you've done that that's all secure in there okay don't need to worry about those coming out because they're all nice and secure okay. so now this is where the second line comes into play okay which I've managed to or I used a Frix on the first time I've just realized I've managed to when I ironed it I've managed to iron it off so let me just draw one with the chalk pen again okay Maria said as long as you're not allergic to fabric well, I remember when I went to see the consultant at the hospital and they asked me what my job was and I told him and he went, well, that's not a very sensible choice, is it? All those fibres. And I was like, yeah, I'm kind of doing it now. <laughs> but yeah, apparently the fibres and the dust that come off the fabric are not are not good for my, my stupid uh, condition. So, But I'm persevering because I'm not giving up fabric ever. <laughs> right, that second line okay that we had drawn so this we stitched up the whole of the four inch line now now you're just going to draw a st top stitch a line straight down that three and a half inch okay and what that does is oh groups you've put it over there can you grab that little um tablet stand hopefully you can see on here what this will do is give us a little flat piece which the tablet will sit in and it doesn't slip off okay so i'm just going to top stitch this second line Squidgy over here, and we're going to top stitch this second line. There we go. Still haven't got used to that. I've got to stop using the wheel. Okay, so again, I'm just going to back a couple of stitches. Any uh, any questions there while I'm doing this? Nope. No. Okay, so just go so and steady because obviously you've got to make sure that this is staying out of the way while you're doing that line of stitching. Get your iron out of the way as well, because that's... <laughs> right, so I'm just doing a little line of stitching, top stitching, all the way along. And then back stitch on the end. There we go. Okay. We now have... That's, those bean bags are well and truly trapped in there now, because you've got two lines of stitching, half an inch apart. What you want to do now is, um, actually, let me try and do it over here so you can see, guys, a bit better. I'm going to try and do it towards you. This raw edge here, you want to tuck it right the way in, like this, until it hits that seam line. So you want to tuck it, so you're basically folding it in half, okay? Tuck it all in, right up to that seam line. So you've got a little, like, piece like that, okay? So hopefully you can see. So I've just tucked that raw edge right up to the seam line all the way round. Okay. Give that a good press. Like that. Okay. Give that a really good press. You've got a nice crisp seam. And what we're going to do now is we're now going to top stitch again. But we're going to top stitch right nice and close. Sort of what? An eighth to a sixteenth of an inch away. All the way down until again you get to about an inch and a half away okay once we've done that we're going to fill this with fluff we're not going to put bean bags in this bit we're going to fill it with toy stuffing okay bean bags in this bit are just a nightmare i've tried it i spent more time hoovering them up than i did actually work you know getting them in here so because it's only little it's a pain fluff works brilliantly for this this is just really tightly stuffed with toy stuffing or pillows we buy the cheapy pillows the £1.50 ones from Ikea open them up and use all the stuffing out of that or um, a duvet if you buy if you're going to do a lot of stuffing whether it's soft toys or this sort of thing um, if you buy a cheapy duvet like the £7 ones from Asda or Tesco something like that and you slip the lining bit and just pull all the stuffing out you've got bags and bags and bags of stuff in for very little money and it's all the same safety regular you know it's that all the fire regulations is toy stuff in so i we have we did double check that because somebody told us off about it a long time ago and we were like i'm we're sure so i've actually i have actually checked with the um the whatever it is the ce requirement the trading standards people um and it's exactly the same fire regulations there's nothing stopping you doing that okay so top stitch all the way down Okay, so there we go. But I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to go. I'm going to leave myself about that much in order to be able to stuff my stuffing in. So I'm going to do a couple of little back stitches, just to secure that end. 
Anybody chattering? Anybody there? Marin says fab idea for presents. Yeah, the, and they're so well. You can see how quick this is. I would, if you were making sort of a few for different people, I would do all of this bit and then spend, you know, an hour doing all the stuffing and then come back and do the rest of the sewing because the beans will get everywhere. So I'm stitching down till about an inch and a half away and then going to back stitch. Okay. Okay. You now want to stuff this bit with toy stuffing. As you can see, this was a yeah, this was um, a duvet that we've taken apart. <laughs> okay, so little bit by little bit. I might have done that too small now. No, I can get my foot thumb in there. Okay, like that. And again, this is one of those little jobs for sat in front of the TV. You want to stuff this. I tend to use a pencil, not the sharp end, obviously, the blunt end of a pencil. Shove that down. Okay, and you just keep working your way until this is quite nice and you know really well stuffed i've really stuffed that quite well and you're just gonna shovel that in there like this again you don't need to i'm just i'm just going to do a bit i'm not going to do the whole thing so you don't need to watch me do this okay and just shove it down and you just keep going and keep going and keep going until that's all okay but you can see already how that starts to give you a little lip Okay, so I would fill this whole thing up with stuff in and then you just close up that seam there. Okay, you can either pop it back into the sewing machine and do it or you could just hand stitch a couple of little running stitches along there. Okay, with regards to the back, okay, I did a, a little self-covered button because I had lots of these little self-covered buttons um, when I was making these ones. I had a box somebody had give, given me. So I did a self-covered button on the back just to cover that point there okay but you might have you know get your button tin out choose some nice favorite buttons that you've got in there to put on the back of them you know something all you're doing is just making basically something to cover that little bit of stitching you don't have to at all you can just leave it like that but I think it just gives a nice little bit of detail on the back if you pop a button on it so that is iPad stands okay they are as quick as that quick and simple okay really really nice little presents as well you know I think um, you know, if you've got somebody in hospital or something, you know, it'd be nice to send one in so they can put their phone or their tablet on it and, you know, be able to Skype or FaceTime easily rather than having to hold them and stuff or, you know, sit and watch Netflix or, or whatever it is they're watching. Or even when you're reading, you know, your Kindle on there. If you're anything like me and you've been reading in bed with your Kindle and you fall asleep and your Kindle hits you on the nose, which I've done so many times, that wakes you up quite sharpish because they're, they're heavy. <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> you know you could actually have this on you know in the bed with your kindle on to be able to read and stuff or, or a book you know a book would sit on it just as well if you're not not just for technology so lots and lots of things you could do with them um actually you know if you made it maybe slightly wider we we're talking about being in the kitchen with with recipe with recipes if you've got a cookbook you know if you made it maybe slightly wider version so that when you open the book because you've got this this distinct bar I think it would stay open it's worth trying it's worth trying that you know so tablet stands or make little mini versions for phone stands you know you could just make a smaller version to sit your phone on uh, any questions or anything there lovely Maria asked did you put the button on before you stuffed it no I stuffed it and then I just hand sewed the button on I just hand sewed, sewed it afterwards you could put it on before if you wanted to I suppose really makes no difference i i stuffed it first though and then went back and did it but again really doesn't matter which way you do it uh susan said i use some cleaned uh round lollipop sticks uh wrapped them in fluff to give it more uh strength in uh, what I need, that's what a, I need. yeah that's a nice idea yeah so in this bit here yeah you could do absolutely i mean i found that I mean, I've really, really stuffed that. I mean, over, you know, really, really poked it in and, you know, with a pencil and kept and kept and kept doing it. So it was really, really stiff. But yeah, like Susie was just saying, you could do a clean lollipop stick in there, wrapped with fluff to give it a little bit more structure as well, if you wanted to. Yeah, good, good idea. Uh, Linda says I could do with a new one. Mine, I uh, use mine all the time. 
Yeah. Uh, in my sewing den. Oh, perfect. Oh, I'm sure you must have some nice liberty or something there, Linda, that you can uh, do it with. <laughs> but like I said, the um, I'll get the bean bags. I think we've only got like three bags of it left. Um, so either give us a call, um, or I'll try and get them on the on the website. Um, but you can, I mean, you can get it all over the place, bean bag stuff in. Um, but you can use normal fluff as well if you wanted to, with a rice bag or something in the back. Uh, that, yeah, that's, no, that's about it. Okay, right. Um, have a lovely, lovely Sunday. Um, I will see you all on Monday with. Um, you definitely want to tune in because I've got an exclusive. Oh, it's a white gecko world exclusive. I'm so excited. Um, so definitely tune in on Monday to see that. Um, and don't forget that the shop will. It's not open to the public, but you can click and collect from next week. Okay, so between 10 and 12, um, if you order online or order on the phone, you can come and pick up your um, pick up your order from the shop if you prefer. Um, postage will be going back from Monday on, on as well for Monday on the website. Um, yeah, we had, we had our bill for our postage the other day. It's, um, yeah, putting free postage on is, is, uh, was a bit of a shock to the system. <laughs> We're not doing it full price, though. We're just doing it £1.50 as standard across across all items, OK? So it doesn't matter how much you order, it's still only be £1.50 for postage. Um, so that will go back on on Monday. Um, or if you're local, you can, like I said, you can come and click and collect between 10 and 12. Don't forget to start thinking about your questions as well. So you, if you've got any questions for me and Sarah, um, don't, which will be next Saturday, week today, have a little think and send them in, okay? If there's something you want to ask us, if there's, like you said, problem solving or anything. Um, and that's it. That's it for me today. Um, I will see you all on Monday. Any other last bits or pieces before I go? Everyone just says thank you. That's all right. Uh, Marie says thank you for my order and smiley faces. Ah, cool. Fabulous. Lovely, lovely. Um, cool. We will see you on Monday then, guys. Um, if you're on the Zoom... <laughs> I'll see you in about 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to have a quick, grab some quick to eat. Uh, and then I'll be back on it too. For you ladies are on the Zoom if you're on here. And um, I'll see the rest of you on Monday. Have a lovely, lovely weekend, guys. See you soon. Bye.